So one of the questions I get asked quite a bit is what is all the hardware that I use to actually produce these videos? Um, all the actual computers and everything run Linux, but what hardware do I use that works so well with the Linux operating system? Uh, so we're going to be talking about that. Some of the things don't directly interact with Linux, such as the lighting and whatnot. But I'll talk about my audio, my microphone, the camera that I'm using, as well as the computers that I do all the editing and everything else on. And that's going to be the very first thing we talk about today is the computer. The computer, the main desktop computer that I'm using is an AMD machine when it comes to the processor and graphics card. It's running a Ryzen 7 3700X with the AMD Radeon 580 GPU. It is the 8 gigabyte model. This computer also has 32 gigabytes of RAM that works very well with the Ryzen processors, as well as a 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD. That's all I really have in this computer at the moment because I do a lot of my storage on a NAS that I'm going to briefly touch on a little bit later. But so far, this computer has been working great, especially right now. I'm currently running Endeavor OS, and for what I need, it is perfect. The thing with the AMD card. Uh, I need the AMD Pro drivers to run the editing software I prefer, which is DaVinci Resolve. And that's really the only negative. This is one of the rare situations where it would be better for me to have a NVIDIA graphics card. But in this case, I've already have this and I'm not going to be purchasing a NVIDIA card anytime soon. But for what it is and what I have, it's an absolutely beast of a machine. I don't plan on upgrading it really anytime soon. It does everything I need it to perfectly. And I might consider upgrading when one GPU prices drop or to the next AMD series of processors comes out because for uh, rendering and things like that, the AMD CPUs work wonderful. Uh, for general aesthetics, I have a wonderful case. It is a micro ATX case, which in my opinion is the perfect, it should be the standard computer size. The full size cases are just way too big for me. This is it right here. It is the deep cool case. And I mean, it looks fantastic. Other than the box, I actually have it sitting on. It's, it's better than carpet. I'll say that. And then over here, this is the motherboard that I'm using. This is the, it's the ASRock B550 Steel Legend AMD 4 board. And I mean, it, it's a beast of a board. It does pretty good. Before this board, I was using the Asus Prime 570X. So that also worked phenomenally, but I'm an idiot and I ruined it. So thus I upgraded to this and downsized my uh, computer case. Now, a lot of the purchases that I'm going to discuss going forward were heavily influenced by the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. The main influence with our sponsor today was the audio and lighting. I took a lot of courses on Skillshare about those specific subjects. Now, I was initially interested in joining Skillshare for the DaVinci Resolve classes, and trust me, I did get those, but I ended up getting a lot more. Like I said, in lighting, but it also helped me improve my skills with my camera. And I believe after the time that I've spent with it, overall, my content has greatly improved. Within Skillshare, there are thousands of different classes that you could go ahead and take, whether if you are interested in video production or even arts and crafts, coding, and much more. Now, one of the classes that I've started on Skillshare rather recently was Productivity for Creatives by Thomas Frank, and overall, watching this has helped me quite a bit get a lot of what I do done. And overall, it has been an absolute pleasure to use Skillshare, so use that link in the description to go ahead and get your month for free. So the first light is the light right here. This is my key light, and it is just a small, cheap softbox I got on Amazon. It's not currently listed anymore. If I go ahead and click on this, it takes me to a, a Sorry, not found, but I'll link to a very similar one down below if you are interested. And the next light I'm going to talk about is the very first light I purchased. And it's, it's this little LED panel. It does the trick. It's just a little fill light right here. So you can see if I turn it off real quick, that side of my face is a lot darker. It's adjustable and all that, but I just keep it on the brightest max setting because I do color correcting later. And nothing else I have here is really, uh, you can change the color temperatures or anything like that. This is pretty cheap, about 40 bucks. It was the first light I purchased. I purchased it very early last year. And now the light we're gonna talk about is for the background here. I actually have this little uh, schnazzy remote right here and I can pop this on and if I turn this off, you can see my whole background goes dark. This is what all my videos looked like up until about a week ago. And I think that looks better. Tell me what you guys think. But this light right here is a uh, newer, newer, C60 60 watt LED video light at 5600 Kelvin. And I think it is awesome. It's actually the, one of the more professional studio looking lights I have. It's over here on a tripod. If I uh, 
lean it down this way. There it is. If it was on, I would have just went blind. So we're gonna pop that back on real quick. And next, we are gonna talk about audio. You may notice I don't have a microphone in front of my face anymore. And that is one of the primary reasons I switched away from the Blue Yeti that I was using before I went ahead and purchased this shotgun microphone that is right above my camera there. Now this is a very popular microphone. This is the Sennheiser MKE 600 shotgun microphone. Uh, it has a battery option. I don't need the battery because I have it plugged straight into my audio interface. I still, of course, do have a lot to learn when it comes just to general, mo mostly working with OBS to get it to sound good but I think I've tuned it in pretty good thus far. So hooking up to my microphone, we have the audio interface, and I went ahead and went with the tried and true uh, Scarlett Solo third generation. Very simple, doesn't do too much, but what it does, it does very well, and that is convert the just plain signal from the microphone into a digital format in which OBS can pick up with no issues. On the actual microphone here, we have the monitor. We have two different gain knobs. We have a 48 volt and air. The 48 volt thing is important for me because I'm not using a battery and air just kind of adds a little effect for like how the uh, classic Scarlet's used to sound, but I think it kind of makes it sound a little tinny and weird. And of course it's all running with XLR cables like a standard audio interface. For me, it's worked really good. Initially, because I have that rack mount behind me, I really wanted to get the uh, rack mounted one that has like a ridiculous amount of inputs. It was not at all necessary. I really wanted to get it, but I just couldn't justify it. It would be cool to have it all managed right here. And then there'd be lights and stuff. Give some uh, distro tube vibes to the video. This right here is what everything's connected to. Now it is difficult to record because of the positioning of my desk, but this thing is awesome. And I'm basically using it almost exactly how this configuration looks right here. I have my camera mounted right in front of me, right next to my monitor. The microphone is right on top and the light is over here. So everything is on one side. And then this light is connected to a different arm mount that was uh, used for the Blue Yeti I had before I got all this stuff. And for me getting something like this for a hundred bucks was kind of a stretch. I really didn't want to do it, but I'm, I'm happy I did. It makes everything a lot cleaner and nicer. Other than my uh, actual cable management, I have not done yet. So behind my desk, it is an absolute jumbled mess. And of course, on this jumbly mess of arms, we have my camera. The camera is a Canon M50. It is a tried and true, very popular camera. Uh, it's not too expensive. You can find them for like $600, I think. It's still kind of expensive, but it's not as expensive as I, I could spend. <laughs> I really want that, uh, the Blackmagic 4K camera. That would be cool. But this camera is pretty awesome. It records in 1080p that you're seeing right now. It has some pretty good settings. I'm using the kit lens, so I didn't even purchase an additional lens for it. If I were to come up with a complaint about it, my, the main thing is the battery drains super quick, probably about maybe 40 minutes worth of record time, but you can't even really do that because at 30 minutes, it'll automatically stop recording, which is super fun. And after every four gigabytes, it splits up media files. So that's cool too. But other than that, it's a great camera. I've definitely gotten some pretty good shots with it and some pretty bad shots. Uh, the auto, like auto color and auto ISO and all that is terrible. Uh, you've seen some of that in this video with me trying to do B-roll, but like this right here is all manual settings. So it looks moderately okay. Now, one thing that was unbelievably cool was I actually got a little gift from Intel, which was an absolute shock and awe to me. I got this laptop, which it's a pretty beast of a laptop. I mean, this is a, uh, it's a Republic of Gamers Asus laptop. It's the ROG Sapphirus M16. It has a, uh, into, not integrated, but it has the mobile NVIDIA 3070 with a Intel Core i9 processor. So sad, it has 32 gigabytes of RAM and a two terabyte SSD. So the fact they would send something like this is astronomical. And they, they told me I didn't even need to like do a review or anything on it, which is crazy. I'm still going to I actually have a pop OS loaded up on it. So there's going to be a video coming out where I actually test out pop OS on crazy hardware like this to see if like the hybrid graphics and all that is pretty good. I'm having some issues I'm trying to work with, but so far it's been a pleasure. Next up, we have silly gadgets that I purchased that I didn't need to. This right here 
<laughs> this right here is a camera slider. And it, it does that. So hopefully my shots when it comes to hardware stuff will look pretty good. This thing spins so I can set something on it and it will slowly rotate. That's pretty cool, I guess. And then of course I have my background wall. It has a whole bunch of cool stuff. A lot of stuff I've talked about in the past. We have a iPhone wall thing. We have BMAX mini PC. We've got a programmable robot back there. We've got a Jing pad. All kinds of fun stuff. I'll link down below if you're interested in some of my uh, older hardware reviews. They're pretty fun. This right here is the capture card they use. Uh, Maria Box sent this to me a while back, but the uh, the quality is kind of fuzzy. Doesn't really look the best, but for just a nice little cheap capture card that for some reason comes with a belt strap. Um, and then of course we have the server rack behind me. Now, I'm not going to get too into that because that's a whole video of its own of everything that is going on in there and that I have planned to do in there. But if you do want a little sneak peek, I have a mini PC in there that's acting as a Proxmox server. So you can check out that video. And I have a Synology NAS that's acting as my whole home storage media server and all of that fun stuff. So that about concludes it. Again, thank you to our sponsor Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Uh, use the link in the description for that credit. Like I said, they influenced a lot of the uh, purchases and how I kind of have everything set up. So this shot doesn't look too bad, I don't think anyways. So with that, in addition, I'd like to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. You guys are absolutely fantastic. And with all that, uh, links to purchase anything down below. Um, it's most of it, some of it's not, some of it will be affiliate links, but the new A-Gun ones will not be. Uh, yeah. Peace.